Hey, are you smarter than a Johnson engineer? Well, the fellow that was in this Viking 2 sure thought he was. Left me a heck of a mess. We'll sweep the chassis. And I'll show you the things right off the bat that I'm going to remove from this transmitter. This capacitor is a mod, does not belong here. This cluster of capacitors will be removed and cleaned up. The modulation adjustment resistor is open, it's got to come out. And then the fun begins, the audio section. Somebody put in this big old monster interstage transformer and a whole bunch of caps and resistors that do not meet up with the print. So I'm just going to remove all of it and take it back to a clean slate and rebuild for the print. So you may be wondering where do you start this process? You start with a pair of wire cutters. You get in here and just remove everything. Because when you're done, you're going to be grabbing the schematic and return this thing back to its stock condition. There's no reason to keep any of this in there. There's no reason to test any of the components. Just clip it out. Start the cleanup process. The initial clean out is complete. I removed that open modulation resistor, cluster of filter caps, pulled everything out of the audio section. Next step down here, I need to take some solder wick and some needle nose pliers and clean the terminals of those 6AU6s so they can be rewired fresh. The other thing I noticed up here in the current shunts, somebody's been playing around. There's some extra resistors. They must have had some problems with the old shunts. So I'll have to address that later. So as you can see, I've got quite the task ahead of me. I've done quite a few of these Viking 2s and they all always have problems in the audio preamp section. So the best approach, clean them out, and rebuild them to the print. The other problem that these Viking 2s have is the inner stage transformer. As you can see, this is not the original. And trying to find the originals is tough. So I'm going to try something on this Viking 2. I have developed a 6C4 inverter board. And this will replace the stock interstage transformer. So this Viking 2 will be the first one to try the new inverter system. And if this works, I'll be offering these on my website.